Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Ned over my Philippine dreams, and today is date day. When you're married and you got kids, you know, you gotta take some time for yourself. So me and Chi Chai are out getting a Saturday lunch. And today we are at Arbor Restaurant uh, by John from your cooking class. And if you're wondering about the location, it's on Hibbert Avenue. That's the same one, Silliman University is on. Silliman's way down there. And it's right across from the ABC Learning Center where Zoe will most probably be going to school. As you can see, they got some nice parking here. This is both a restaurant and a culinary arts school. So when you see the young people inside, wow, and our meals already arrived. I had to go back to the house to get the camera and also to get some, hold on, let me grab it. It's in my pocket. I know I have it. Some cetirazine. And yes, if you spend any amount of time in the Philippines, you are gonna be well acquainted with cetirazine, which is for allergies. And Chichai has a shrimp shellfish allergy, slight one, so I went and got that. So you can see the interior layout of Arbor here. It's very nice. It's air conditioned, it's nice and cool. And this is a place to go, and I've heard recommendations from other people. If you wanna pamper yourself, if you wanna take some time with a special person and have a special meal, and my gosh, our food has already arrived. I was literally gone like 10, not even, eight minutes. So for our meal, and we'll go, we'll go through the menu in a minute. I got the Dorado, this is poached Dorado, with potato cubes and chi chai, and I already got food envy. I knew this was gonna happen. But you hungry? Yeah. Oh, you haven't taken your cetirazine yet. Hold on. So here's the light. So I'll edit this and go back. So I got the poached Dorado with potato cubes and lemon. And Chi Chai got the... Shrimp pasta. Creamy, creamy shrimp pasta. And I'm already getting food envy and I should have gotten this. And uh, we're gonna be partaking in. They've got, they've got Cokes and all that stuff. They also have a relationship with Rabbiton which we love up in the mountains of Pamplona. And they get all their herbs and rabbit and some other stuff from Rabbiton. And they also got nice art on the wall. So during the intro of this, I was telling them that when you're married and you have children, that sometimes you don't have time for yourselves as, as a couple. So this is like our Saturday date. <laughs> we should do this more often before I burst out next month. Yes, yes, we gotta continue to do this because Chloe is due in six weeks. February. February 23 should be Chloe's arrival. So we're gonna eat our food. We're not gonna be those kind of vloggers that eat the food in front of you because it's kind of gross. I don't know, I just got this thing against it. So we're gonna whiff down our food and we'll give you an after action report. And we'll also go through the menu and the prices and all that stuff, but again, here on Hibbert Avenue, right across from ABC Learning Center, with excellent air conditioning and special food, Arbor Restaurant. Even though I said we're not gonna film ourselves eating, let's get Chi Chai's reaction on my Dorado, my poached Dorado. Go ahead. You know, I'm not a fish lover, right? I'm not a fish lover. I'm not a fish lover. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. We'll skip the scene of you slurping up your creamy <laughs> shrimp pasta. What do you think? Try. Yeah, of course I want to try. Yeah. But what if you like it? I already told you I got food out of me. I get that every time we go out to eat. I always wish I had what the other person ordered. But, but I also like yours. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? All right, we're gonna share. We'll be back. We just had a long chat with Jan, the chef who runs this place, Jennifer, and Philip from Apollong, Apollong? Valencia. Yeah, Valencia, the brewery. They have a microbrewery up there. And we are getting ready to partake of our creme brulee. Jan mentioned that they have creme brulee, and I haven't had that in a long time, ever since Marco went back to Italy. So we're going to try that. Good times. And that's not a real Christian Dior. 
<laughs> okay, let's go through the menu. Um, going through this menu, people might look at the prices and be like, oh man, that's expensive. But when it comes down to it, this is the best meal. I've been in Dumaguete nearly 10 years. And this is the best meal, both the best meals I've ever had. So, again, there's no price on quality. They got rabbit salad. The rabbit is from Rabbiton. You can see the prices and you can see the starters. You can see the main courses. She had the creamy shrimp pasta, $3.95. And I had the poached dorado which was fantastic. But again, I got food envy. Her creamy shrimp, shrimp pasta was equally delicious. They got a little nibble stuff, garlic bread, cheese platter. Cheese platters are always good. They got sides, roasted pumpkin mashed potatoes, sauteed spinach, rice, all that stuff. Desserts, we just had the creme brulee, 195 pesos. It was delicious. They also got pumpkin spice cheesecake. Pumpkin flavored coffee is actually my favorite, so I wish we had gotten that. So, also to keep in mind that they also have off-menu specials, so you may want to ask about those before you order. Um, they also got craft beers, martinis, and Philip was from Apolong, Apolong uh, Brewery, which is a craft brewery up in Valencia. We're probably going to swing by there tomorrow, check out their place, because we're going to have Zoe feed the pigeons. Uh, cocktails, mocktails, coffee, tea, juices, sodas, all that stuff. Again, and I don't say this lightly, and we're not getting any type of compensation for this video. We don't get any freebies. There's no grifting involved. If we like a place, we, do, we publish a video on it. If we don't like the place, I don't publish the video. This is the best meal I have had in Dumaguete City in almost 10 years. So that is what that is. I think the, my second favorite, what would your second favorite be? Historia. You start, yeah. Yeah, you stir you when Marco was working there. That was that that was amazing. Yeah, pizza's still good, but it's 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 about eighty nine percent as good when Mark but Marco went back to Italy. We we lost the creme brulee. Yeah, that's our favorite. Mm, the creme brulee. That's when I was courting Chichai. Now that I I put a ring on our finger, I don't need to court her anymore. So this is uh, Arbor Restaurant. Again, the, the staff is very knowledgeable. The staff is very polite, courteous, professional. Yes, thank you, thank you, wife. They also got art on the wall if you want to purchase some art. Excellent air conditioning. And there is the proprietor, Jan, out there. He is from Germany, and he went to culinary art school and through apprenticeships, all that stuff, and has traveled the world for many years, learning many skills. And he's teaching it to people, because again, this is a culinary art school and a restaurant. So until next time, poached gelato, creamy shrimp pasta, puppies, rainbows, unicorns for all. This is Ned. Chichai. And we'll see you next time on my Philippine dreams. Yeah, we killed the br the brulee's dead. <laughs> see you next time, folks.